The future of mining in Zambia is bright again. After a subdued performance which has seen a decline in copper production, the UPND government, after coming into office, introduced various incentives and reforms to revamp the country's key economic sector. Among these reforms were tax incentives that were aimed at stabilizing the sector and encourage investment in the mining sector. Predictability and stability have been the underlying theme for government as it works at reviving the mining industry with an ambitious target of pushing production to 3 million metric tons in 10 years. Among the measures introduced in the last two years include the reintroduction of the deductibility of mineral royalty tax as well as restructuring the mineral royalty tax regime. These have paid off. Close to five billion United States dollars has been pledged in investment and exploration by various mining companies. Yesterday, a major revelation was made at the ongoing mining endeavor in South Africa. Cobalt Metals announced a discovery of the largest copper deposits ever recorded in the history of mining in Zambia. The Mingomba project near Chilabamwe will be one of the largest and highest grade copper mines in the world when put into production. It's a remarkable ore deposit. It is like Kakula in size and grade and will make an extraordinary copper mine. We are very proud to be developing this project in partnership with Zambian government and ZCCM, ZCCMIH, our joint venture partner at Mingomba. Bundavesa is a lecturer in the School of Mines at the University of Zambia. He notes that the huge investment has the potential to create thousands of direct jobs and will have a major impact on government revenue through taxes. There will be a lot of employment which will be created by that mine, about maybe 10 15,000 jobs, direct jobs, and then indirect. By indirect, we mean maybe contractors and other people who depend on mining. It is not only Mongomba on the cards. The sector has seen other major investments that include 180 million United States dollars by Mexico resources at its Mimbula project, as well as the $1.3 billion investment by First Quantum in Kansanshi expansion project, as well as $1.3 billion investment by First Quantum in the Kansanshi expansion project and Enterprise Nickel Mine project. Lumwana has committed $2 billion to its expansion project, while China non-ferrous metal mining is pumping in $1.3 billion in its various projects. Ark Minerals is involved in a $90 million United States dollars joint exploration project with Anglo-American. Economist Ntinda Kandeke says the investments and copper discoveries comes at a critical time in Zambia's economic prospects. The investment um, that would result in what they've stated uh, to be about $2 billion in the mine upon completion, what that then means is that we begin to activate the real economy for, for the country. And the real economy means that uh, you and I in the business sector can now also participate um, in the mining sector, either through auxiliary businesses such as the supply of uh, goods and services. Besides these investments, government has equally resolved the challenges surrounding the country's two large mines, Mopani and Konkola copper mines, which are both expected to contribute to increased copper production and job creation. With these investments and continued reforms, the mining sector is indeed set for takeoff. Mary Kachepa, ZMBC News, Lusaka.